Hi, I just wanted to make a video because I've been thinking about how do women su survive in a world that is so wo women hating? How do women survive in a wo in a woman hating world? And I want to apologize because I'm very very tired. It's like early in the morning, I think. It's it's been the first year day of the new year. So I've been getting up really, really late. And so in my mind, it's probably still like just quite early in the evening, but I'm still quite tired from yesterday. So I apologize. But it's something that's been on my mind for a while. And I think it's a really important topic. How do women survive in a women hating world? And I got a couple of suggestions to this. So here goes. I hope you you it can in inspire. Um, I think it's really important. Oops! I blew out the candle. <laughs> it's so. <coughs> I think it's really important to focus on women. Um, a lot of women focus a lot of their time and energy on men. Uh, especially I see women in feminism spending so much time and energy explaining men why they deserve to be treated well. And I think it's such a fucking waste of time and energy. And they're not worth it. What we should focus on instead are each other. Listen to your fellow sisters, listen to their problems, find solutions, find support, give support and don't be afraid if another woman has a problem that she wants to share with you. I experience a lot that some women um, feel uncomfortable with weakness because we've learned that as women we should be tough, we should be strong women. It's very taboo to be a weak woman. But, you know, we go through so much shit that we can't always be strong. <clears throat> and I think that's really important. Be tolerant, be patient, be listening to... Uh, to the women in your life because we have a tendency as women to focus a lot of time on the men in our lives um, and you see that you really see the difference I think between men and women and how they focus their time and and what they value in life like men will build their identity through what they love to do in life and through each other and the community they have together and women will build their identity around their husband or their boyfriend many a, a lot of the time i'm not saying that goes for all women and i'm not saying that that that's like that every time but it's it's a tendency that I, that i see a lot so let's try and Give each other the space to heal, <clears throat> and don't, don't, don't make it a taboo when a woman has something really painful that she wants to share with you. Be available to other women. Set boundaries. Have your boundaries. Accept other people's boundaries, but be available when it's when it's when it's due time you know the second uh, I wanna the, the second uh, like tip I wanna give is surround yourself with people that lift you up this is so important like you can't you can't survive in a women hating cu uh, culture if you surround yourself with people that look down on you or put you down all the time or you know um are being really sarcastic all of the time surround yourself with people that are 
authentic and aren't paranoid and respect your boundaries and you respect their boundaries and you have mutual respect for each other and you know people who don't have a lot of distrust in you I, I see that with a lot of people they're so distrustive of other people and sometimes I can't help but thinking that that must be because they themselves can't be trusted because you know, you always see the world through your own glasses, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's really important. Get the toxic people out of your lives. Like, they're not going to change. And if something feels iffy, it most certainly is. That's something that I've really learned over the last couple of years. That if if it feels iffy, if it doesn't feel right, if something feels a little bit, hmm, I'm not sure if if... This person is like this or like that. If you don't feel comfortable asking to get reassurance, that's a bad sign and you should get rid of that situation. You should get rid of all toxic situations in your life and all toxic people. You can't heal in a toxic environment. Number three, build community and build resistance. This is really, really important. And this, of course, relates to surround yourself with with great people, awesome people. It's so important to like have a, a great network. And I would even recommend like support groups and I would like to be part of one. This is also why I'm making the video. I would like to, I would like to have community with other women, um, to talk about how you've been socialized, to talk about how that has affected you, to talk about experiences, to talk about healing, how you've survived, um, what challenges do you encounter in your everyday life, um, and just people to discuss these things with, maybe meet up twice a month or something like that, and just really have a positive proactive approach not like the kind of whiny approach where it's not about lifting each other up or you know where it's only about like is you know being like yeah it's so bad you know but try to really find solutions be critical of each other in a loving way and and uh, always keep in mind how to move forward in situations and resistance is also about talking how about how we can go from here to there you know how can we create a better world what world what kind of world do we want to live in and how can we make steps to go in that direction, you know. And number four, I would say, is to create. Think about the last many hundreds of years where men have created everything. They basically created the culture that we have. And it hasn't really taken us very good places, has it? I think it's time for women to, to build their own. And this also, again relates to the first point because it's about how men value their time and women have been historically having had the breeder role you know having to you know bring up the children and having to do housework and stuff now it's women's turn to really you know realize themselves and if you're not a creative person that doesn't matter you know um, you could do just things that make you happy to, you know, things that make you you, you should do, you know. And I know I'm very much, you know, in my obligation space a lot of the time, or I have been at least the last, you know, decade or so uh, because of education and and activism and stuff 
Um, and I feel how I have kind of lost my identity in all that, you know, spending my time doing things that I felt obligated to do, you know, which is in many ways total bullshit, you know, because if you go in the direction it towards, you know, things that you love in life, you know, it will, I think, in many cases, uh, show you the, the right way, the right path for you in your life, you know. So, yeah, uh, I really hope that these four points could inspire you and at least make you think. What do you yourself think? Like, how can women survive? in a women-hating world, is it even a women-hating world, you know, you could comment below, <laughs> let me know, but yeah, focus on women, you know, it's so important, you know, because men have had the attention for so many hundreds of years now, it's time for women to, to focus on other women, focus on each other, you know, focus on us, you know, we have to build resistance, you know. So yeah, good luck with that and uh, good luck to myself. <laughs> it's a struggle for us all, but I think when we, when we wish community with each other, that's what we can build, you know. Try to understand each other, try to listen, you know. Yes. Good night. I'm really tired. <laughs> Have to sleep. Bye.